Alrighty, let's play this in full. There's no sound. Whoa. Couple things. Right off the bat, uh, what I would do is just either do uh, like a perspective grid on it. Not like the grid that's in Maya, but just a couple lines. Or if you want just a couple of cubes. Or if you're going to go crazy, you know, whatever fits environment. Some trees and some rocks or something. Why? Just because... This must be the slide that the feet are doing. They're just fine. But then you see this, how he just kind of starts moving around. That is the camera moving through here. Through all of this. And whenever you do something like that, I would add something so we understand what the camera is doing. Otherwise, it could be a bit confusing. That's a few. It's not like it's super confusing, but it's just... You watch this, it's cool. And then, oh, okay, I guess the camera moved. And it's, I think it would be kind of neat to just show that. Because, I mean, you have to move the camera because you're already this close... Yeah. Other than that, let's watch this again here. Ba Boom. Watch out that your head is not too head align, head IK, whatever word follow. Where just a lot of upper body movement. You can see how that head. There's a slight rotation like that, that I would push, maybe even a slight downward move, a rotation. It feels like it's a bit too separate from the chest, like this gimbal thing, where the head stays put. I would definitely stabilize this given the weight. There's a lot of movement and, and jitter, and you can see some pops in here. And given that he's so heavy, I would wait with any type of rotations on the feet. To me, this would be throwing something like this when he pushes where that can happen, but I'll be careful. It's a bit soft there during all of this, all the weight on from the creatures on this leg. And I would also probably move over a bit more so that you can almost lean over a bit more so that leg has somewhere to go and you have a bigger change in the, in the spine there. It's a bit too simple. And again, that head stays a bit too horizontal. At this point, it would be rotated over and up a bit. Just mechanically, I would watch out. And I wonder if you could just bring out that arm more this way so that you have a nice silhouette so it's not covering you have all those overlapping shapes there the leading with the shoulder which is cool careful this feels like your foot as you roll off then you're staying in this pose for quite some time and then even coming into the plant here on that rolled up foot and then just kind of foot roll down to me it feels like you want to go up you know like i said lean over with a bit more relaxed foot and almost make that more of a stomp it's almost like a sneak oh, let me not be too loud and then pa -pam! it's almost like to me if you bring up an arm like this you can almost swing back a bit more this feels a bit too like I don't want to be too loud. Let's do my hammer versus uh, bringing those arms out. You know, so you can get really get into this. What is he doing? He's just pow. Then I would probably go with this, almost leaning a bit more over that leg with an extended, maybe even a slight peel off here on that leg. Because so what's happening there too is now, A, you're doing a foot roll. You're just activating the foot roll that goes this way while the knee is pointing this way and the body is this way. This feels very broken. Like your foot roll goes towards there. So it's going to be with a slight peel off and when that that roll, like I said, over there. But what happens is that all you're doing is a foot roll and then your root goes over. But I feel like you're moving this almost a bit too soon. Now again, bring that knee down, turn your foot for proper pointed foot roll and wait a bit and then bring that foot up there's a lot of just kind of moving and sliding on the ground then you lift this up that's cool i'm gonna use the other hand but i feel like you can go here you know there's just the lifting of the handle with all the weight pivoting off of here but then to me i mean i know this arm comes in to help but i wonder if there's a moment where you can kind of 
not here enough frames, but like push it a little bit where it's almost like you're a bit more uh, up with this pulling and then using this arm. It feels like it's just kind of like this and lifting with the arms versus going in there and then uh, lifting it up and then with the arms for that swing. And then watch out. So he's doing a. Feels like with that much momentum, such a swing, this being so heavy, it feels like it swings and then stops, goes down. It feels like this will continue swinging until or it reach, reaches the ground where this will be a bit more sideways, like to the side of him. I know it just causes a problem to the, for this though, but so maybe. Maybe instead of a swing where it's so horizontal and flat, since you want to hit this, maybe you can do something where it would be, I don't know, if you do down and up, bah, something where it, it starts that turn for momentum. That's something I feel like you could go down and then you bring it back up so that this actually ends up being here. So it's more of a uh, boom. So then it can hit here. So then you can keep this animation where he brings it back up. Watch out, there's again some wiggly stuff. You still have to kind of work on the weight and how it's connecting with the ground. But at least here you're leaning back and then taking that arm and then moving over and then moving forward because of that weight. I think that's cool. I would just tighten those bring those fingers together tighten the thumb tighten the thumb really for, to get that grip going uh but that's kind of that yeah so these are kind of my impressions of that thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you